Robots are assisting in surgeries. AI is helping diagnose diseases. And ChatGPT is doing everything from writing nursing essays to answering medical questions. So are nurses next in line to be replaced? I know it sounds scary, but here's the real story of what AI means for nursing and why your job is safer than you think. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Pawan. I'm a registered nurse based in Sydney, Australia. And on this channel, we talk about the real world of nursing, from student life to work culture, to building your career in healthcare. And today we are diving into a hot topic. Will AI take over nursing jobs? Let's break it down together. In part one of the video, let's talk about why this fear exists. Let's be honest, the fear makes sense. We've all seen those news headlines. AI can detect cancer faster than radiologists. Robots are mixing and delivering chemo drugs in hospitals. And even in our day-to-day -day life, you've probably noticed things changing, like use of electronic medical records, which has replaced the massive paper-based charts that we used to have, automated vital signs monitors, where all you have to do is like press a button, even far away from the patient, and you get their vital signs. So all the acutely ill patients who come to the emergency department are connected to all these monitors, and all you have to do is press the button and the vital signs are charted. It's amazing. And also the digital medication systems, which is reducing a lot of errors that used to happen. And yes, some chatbot style tools giving health advice or triaging patients. And for students and new nurses entering the field, it can feel like, is there even going to be a job for me in next 10 years? But let's look a little closer. In part two, let's go over what AI can actually do. AI is actually doing some incredible things in healthcare already. And here's what it's great at. Well, first of all, data crunching. It can analyze massive amounts of data from test reports, pathology results, symptoms in no time way faster than a human can, and even suggest some possible diagnosis based on the data that's provided. And secondly, medication safety. AI tools can help with safe prescribing, flagging drug interactions, or recommending doses based on patient's history. This has actually been implemented in Australia already, I mean to some degree. A lot of the hospitals in Australia don't use the medication charts, the physical medication charts that we used two years ago. And it's all been done online, where the doctor will go online and prescribe the medication. This is all while we are working in hospital setting, mind you. And the nurses will go through the electronic medical pathway for the patients they're looking after, and they can see all the medications that's been prescribed to this particular patient, and they have to check the boxes as they go. So part of this is actually already happening in Australia, and this is only bound to get better. The hospital I currently work at, we still use the old school medication charts, but many hospitals in New South Wales actually don't use them anymore, and it's all done online. And thirdly, administrative tasks. AI can help schedule appointments, transcribe documentation, and even write up clinical summaries. And I actually won't be surprised if you tell me that doctors and nurses are already using AI to write their progress notes. It's already here. But all of these things are about supporting clinicians, not replacing them. And that brings us to the next point. In part three, let's go over what AI can't do. Here's the heart of it, literally. AI can't feel. It doesn't care. And nursing is built on human connection, empathy and emotional intelligence. When a patient is scared before surgery, it's not an algorithm that they want. It's a calm, reassuring nurse who actually knows how to listen and answer all the questions that they might have about the surgery, their treatment plan. It's the human connection and the reassurance is what they need. And AI can't replace that. Secondly, non-verbal cues. Nurses notice tiny things that AI can't. A change in breathing, skin color, restlessness or confusion. Things that aren't always measurable, but can signal something serious. And I feel like AI is not quite there yet to get the non-verbal cues right. Thirdly, real-time decision-making. In emergencies, AI can freeze or lag, but nurses, they adapt. We communicate, we prioritize, we escalate care. For example, when we have a code blue, the situation is evolving every few seconds. We adapt depending on how the patient is responding or not responding to the treatment. That kind of dynamic, fast thinking is hard to code. And lastly, advocacy. AI can't stand up for patients. It doesn't challenge the doctors or speak up when something feels off. And as nurses, we do that every single day. So yes, AI might assist, but it can never replace the heart, the intuition, and the people skills that nursing demands. Now in part four of the video, I wanna go over in this era of AI, how nursing will change, but not disappear. Now here's the part that I really want you to lean into. Nursing isn't going away, but the way we work will change. This is actually a great opportunity for nurses who want to thrive in the future. Well, firstly, nurses will work alongside AI, not replaced by it. Think of AI like a powerful assistant and not a competitor. So AI will actually handle things like data analysis, 
flagging abnormal test results, abnormal observations, or managing medication schedules. All the routine, repetitive stuff that eats up your time. But it can't really provide what nurses uniquely bring. The ability to read the room, sense when the patient is confused or scared, or make on-the-spot decisions when something seems off. The nurse will still be the critical thinker, the communicator, and the person who combines science with empathy. AI can support that, but it can't replace it. Now secondly, as I said before, tech will handle all the repetitive tasks, freeing nurses to focus on what actually matters. Right now, nurses spend a ton of time doing admin work, documenting care, tracking meds, filling out forms, chasing charts. This is all exhausting and time consuming. With AI and automation taking over those tasks, nurses will actually have more time to spend at the bedside, caring for the patients, educating families, and collaborating with the healthcare team. Imagine instead of spending an hour on paperwork, you actually spend that hour calming an anxious patient or coaching a family member on how to do wound care. That's where the real impact is. Thirdly, the future nurse will need to be both tech savvy and emotionally intelligent. Here's the catch. Being comfortable with using technology is going to be a basic skill, just like being able to use a stethoscope. You will need to be able to navigate AI-driven alerts and use digital communication tools effectively and also be able to understand and navigate through electronic medical records because a lot of the hospitals around the world have already adapted the electronic medical records at least in australia they have they've gone from paper-based to electronic based medical records so a lot of us are already well versed with this part of technology we'll just have to make ourselves more comfortable with the new technology as it emerges but just as importantly you'll also have to double down on emotional intelligence because that's something that ai can't touch so things like empathy, emotional support, cultural sensitivity, and advocacy will be the things that set you apart. In other words, Future Nurse is a hybrid, part tech user, part healthcare professional, and all human. So the key takeaway here is that the real superpower isn't competing with AI. It's doing what AI can't. So to sum it up, we won't try to beat AI by doing what it does better. Instead, we would focus on our uniquely human skills your ability to comfort, to advocate, and to critically think in complex, unpredictable situations, that's your real superpower. So nurses who embrace technology and nurture their humanity will be the ones who thrive, shaping the future of healthcare instead of fearing it. What do you think? Are you excited or nervous about AI and nursing? By the way, this video is purely based on what I and my other nurse friends think, how AI will be incorporated into healthcare and in nursing in general. So take it as you will, drop a comment below and let's talk about it. So guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos about nursing in Australia. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.